so you've gotten to the point where you've reached your 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 end passion your end goal maybe it was making a billion dollars maybe it was getting the, the wife the kids the two cars the nice house maybe it was going out there and traveling the whole world you've seen every country that there is possible that you can possibly get to you've you've walked across every single country you've experienced every single climate in this world that was your passion you said i don't care where it is i don't care how difficult it's going it's going to be to get there I'm going to land in that country and I'm going to walk all over it. And you did all that and you've experienced all that and you've gotten to that point. What happens once you get there? Now that's going to take a lot. And I hope you can be the individual that finds that strength to do it. But what happens once you get there? Whenever it's been completed and you arrive back. This is what's going to keep you sharp. This is what's going to get you the results you want. I, I'm, I'm using these individuals as examples not because you should be inspired by them, but just to understand this is what will keep you young, this is what will keep you vibrant, and this is what will give you purpose. Notice how these individuals do not commit suicide. Whenever we look at Donald Trump, whenever we look at Tony Robbins, whenever we look at 50 Cent, whenever we look at Leonardo DiCaprio, all of these guys keep moving, keep working, and keep living their passion. Whenever you look at The Rock, he keeps moving and he keeps living his passion. So whenever we take Tony Robbins, he started off with selling seminars. If you want to go further back, he started off as a janitor. But let's start with where his, his initial passion, his initial spark was. Whenever he was selling seminars for Jim Rohn, he was going in there in a peak state. What does he teach right now in his seminars? One of the main things. If you want to change your, your lifestyle, if you want to change where you're starting at, the quickest way to do it is changing your physiology and putting yourself in a peak state. He still teaches that to this day. He is stuck to the same fundamental principles that have clearly worked for him and others. So if he's doing that, he's clearly found his passion and is following his passion. But look at all the extra stuff he does. He didn't stop there. He didn't just take one seminar a week, every week for the rest of his life. He does many seminars. He came up with different things, different edges. He's always improving. If you if you went to his seminars years ago and you went to a recent one, you see how much his seminars change, how much he's trying to bring a new value. Because whenever you're renewing something, whenever you bring a new value to something, you have too much passion and energy going into it to be distracted, to think about suicide, to think about being sad, to think about not wanting to live life. And then you look at what, where else he goes. Not only does he work hard and make a lot of money, he also spends it on things he's passionate about. He gives plenty of money to charity. He puts money into giving people the opportunity to better, better their lives. And he also keeps uh, putting his effort into multiple different things. He owns different companies. He invests in different companies. He's a partner in different companies. He's written some books. Although he may not like it, at least he's still putting out value. Then we take someone like Donald Trump. He did that those massive real estate deals for years and years and years. There was there was definitely some passion there, but maybe it wasn't the most amount of passion for him. And you could see that he was getting older. Now, what would most people have done? His kids are getting to the age now where, where they have total capability of running that company. He could teach them what they need to know within a year and leave it. He could go in retirement. That would have been a more than likely a sad time for someone to go in retirement because rarely do people find another passion there. Very often people slowly get prepare themselves for their way out to die. What did Donald Trump do? He ran for president. How hard did he run for president? Every fucking day he was doing something to get there. Pushing, grinding. And I mean sometimes he looks so fucking exhausted, still showing up. Exhausted again, still showing up doesn't matter keep pushing keep pressing if you're living a life like that the only thing that's going to fucking kill you is a heart attack or a bullet because you're so focused on moving on going on going on going there's no time to get distracted by something that popped up some random bit of information some something on a computer screen somebody said something nasty about you you're too focused working on your journey and on your passion that he's 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 going so fast towards something that he's passionate about there's no way he's going to be distracted Let's take 50 Cent. He creates music. He does it very well, becomes very successful. 
at a certain stage he started to disappear from the marketplace and then he comes back and he doesn't have that same edge that he once had then he starts to increase his efforts he starts to get in far better shape than he was at one point he sort of got out of shape then he started doing uh, health and fitness stuff he started to share a book then he started to put his efforts into underwear and headphones started to get more success there started to go into movies although he was still involved with them he started to increase his effort started to do the tv shows now he's at a point of passion now he's at a point of actually doing stuff and putting an effort so you saw someone who took a slight dip realized how they didn't like it and then shot back up again now we take someone like leonardo dicaprio He's so passionate about movies, he's so focused on movies that he's created a life that he wants. Because all the guys I've just mentioned are people that are hammer non-stop. And then you take someone like Leonardo DiCaprio, he takes time off. He'll, he'll not do any type of work for long periods of time. But how good are his next movies? Always. I don't care what movies you watch from him. All of them are good. Because whenever you bring that type of quality and effort to something it gives it that timeless feel and whenever you can put that type of effort into something where you go all out you'll feel so good about it that you're able to take time off sometimes people can't take time off work because they would feel so empty without it but when you do stuff that provides such a value in those moments that is such a great experience that time off half a year off a year off doesn't feel like much because you know you provided such value that you could die a happy man and then he goes back and he creates the new movie, the next movie of great quality. He lives a great lifestyle. He meets great people. So he's found his passion there. But he's not going out working nonstop 120 hour weeks every week. But at least he's found his passion. At least he's found something that he wants to do. If he can do that, then that means that you can find passions. Let's take the last individual, The Rock. The reason I've left The Rock for the last is because out of everyone that I've watched, I've never seen someone pop up more on every every climate, every platform as much as a rock. I mean, he's on TV, you hear him on the radio, you'll hear him in an advertisement, you'll see him on social media, he's on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, it, any new social media that's coming out, you'll probably see him on it. That takes a workhorse to be everywhere at once. What else do we see? He's in such phenomenal shape year round. Do you know how much effort that takes to create a shape like that? And not only to create a shape like that, to work that much and still make workouts a priority. Now let's look at this. $100 million movie deals. Working out in the morning and not making much money on it. Yes, it helps for getting his roles, but he can work out less and still get those roles.